Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is a review of my uh, glove, my twin gloves. So I thought it would be interesting to have a video about gloves that have aged and to see how well or how bad they have aged. Now a lot of the reviews that you get for uh, all kinds of equipment and gear is about uh, stuff that's just fresh out of the box. But I thought it would be interesting to see what happens after eight years of uh, usage. Okay, so I got these gloves in 2013. So I don't know if you can see it, but here it says 2013, uh, first quality, twin special, genuine leather handmade in Thailand. So I have used them for pretty much everything that is sparring, drills, bag, uh, all types of training. I've used them for absolutely everything. I don't have a special pair for the bag, a, a pair for this, a pair for that. I've used always those for everything. So let's take a look at them. Mm. So the first thing that you notice is that the paint has come off in uh, some places. So the, the screen printed logos here have kind of fade, faded away a little, uh, especially the one on the left hand here, if you can see. On the right hand, it hasn't moved much. Okay, and the paint has come off on the edges like here and here in basically all the, the areas which are um, in contact with the sweat, okay? Because obviously when you use your gloves, you're going to use them for protection. So these are the parts that are gonna be in contact a lot of the time with your face and with the sweat. So I imagine that's why the, the paint has come off in in those places. Um, let's take a look at the, the Velcro strap. So you can see the, the Velcro strap sticks very well. And what I particularly appreciate is that, I don't know if you've ever had a Velcro strap shoes when you were a kid, but what happens very often is that the end kind of you know, sticks out like this. It's very annoying, uh, especially because here we are boxing, so you don't want to have anything that sticks out and that could potentially cause, uh, you know, cuts to your partner. And here you can see that it stays perfectly in place, okay? After eight years of training, nothing to complain about, and it's the same for the other one, so really, the Velcro scratch, and you can imagine how many times this action is performed. I mean, just for one training, you just, you take them on, you take them off, you go have a drink, you know, constantly, so. All right, so now let's take a look at the, the stitching, which is probably the most important part. Now, this is very impressive. I need to get a bit closer to really show you, but if you look at the stitching, uh, and I have examined it. You can look at it everywhere. Here, here, in every single part of the of the glove, even on the patch here, all around here, everywhere, and on both of them, there isn't a single place where the stitching has uh, come off. There is nowhere where it sticks out. There is nowhere where the the, the stitching as uh, degraded in any kind of way. All right, so now let's pay extra attention to uh, this area here, which is the, the junction between the hand and the wrist. There is a bit of flexibility here because these gloves are Muay Thai gloves. Now I've used them for Sanda uh, and kickboxing. And in Sanda, you do have to, you do have throws and you can catch kicks also. So you catch mainly with the wrist in Sanda. And even in kickboxing, you may have to, you, you can also 
catch kicks or there are, there are specific rules but you can still catch kicks a bit in, in kickboxing as well. But anyway, you look at this here and see at the junction here which is the weakest link that is where you would expect maybe tears, holes, some form of degradation and you see it holds perfectly. So that's a great thing and it's the same on the other one. Okay, for example, on my shin guards, that's the, that's the, that's the place where you can see that there, there, is a, there are a few tears and holes. All right, so let's take a look at the padding. So what's important with the padding is that you don't want a texture that's too hard uh, because very often when you get new gloves, the texture is very hard and then it's breaking in and it takes time before you can use them and you can hit people with them. But these... Uh, they don't need breaking in. I mean, as soon as I got them, they felt right. And then the second thing is over time, is the foam inside going to temp? Is it going to be compressed and lose its protection? And it's, uh, it has remained exactly the same since I got them. And you can see how thick it is here. This part here is very thick and that hasn't changed. I don't remember that they were particularly harder when I first got them, so I would say that as soon as I got them, they were ready for usage. Uh, no difference between both gloves. Another thing you might expect, because they are made of leather, you could expect cracks. Now, I've taken care of these gloves. I use a liniment, which is a mix of uh, olive oil and lime water. Uh, that's basically something you use for babies. Uh, it's a very uh, oily kind of matter. And uh, I've used them to, uh, as a lubricant for the, to nourish the leather. Not that often. Uh, but so if there is a, one area in which you would expect cracks, that would be around the thumb attached here. See all this area here, or this area here. You could expect cracks in the leather, and as you can see, there is none. Okay, this one, all the wrinkles here, all of it, there's no crack here, here, on both sides. It holds in place perfectly well. So once again, amazing craftsmanship, great job. Okay, now let's take a look at the uh, inside. So, the problem very often with gloves is that over time, the inside get uh, torn. And here you can see that it hasn't moved at all. The stitching, there's no hole. The fabric has remained the same. It's uh, just uh, fine. Same for the other one. I mean, after eight years of using them, there's no hole in the, in the polyester lining inside. Um, as far as the smell is concerned, really, I mean, I've used them yesterday. I had a sparring session last night. It doesn't smell anything but leather. So I don't do anything particular except that I get them out of the bag and I put them on my shelf. And they've been on the shelf for quite some time now, but, but I still use them regularly and I haven't noticed any particular smell. So, I, I don't know. <laughs> I know there are gloves that smell really bad and I, I, I got some at the, at the club. But for those, I haven't noticed any, any bad smell. Apart from, of course, the obvious smell of, of sweat as soon as you've used them, but it smells of leather, just, you know more than anything else. All right, so in conclusion, what can I say? Well, uh, apart from the paint that has come off, it's very, almost brand new after eight years of usage. So I could only just, you know, recommend those gloves. They are uh, a really, really great uh, investment because um, very often when you start your combat sport, you're going to try to buy equipment and it's not necessarily very easy uh, personally, myself, I bought two pairs of gloves uh, which were cheaper, but the quality wasn't very good uh, before I got those. So 
I would not recommend doing that. It was a stupid move. I mean, the money I spent on those two pairs of gloves, I could have spent on those and, and I would have had the, I would have saved time and money. So I would definitely recommend those. I'm going to get some uh, Yokao gloves very soon. So I will, I will try to, I will compare them and see uh, how they compare to each other in terms of um, quality. Although, of course, the Yoka will be brand new, but it could be interesting to see also the, in terms of uh, do they need breaking in and all that. All right, I hope this, uh, I hope this video was uh, useful and I wish you the best and take care. See you around, bye.